I was ripping this all apart the other day and sending pictures to my dad. He said, do you even have a job anymore? I was like, I'm breaking everything. The best way that I can learn to do all this stuff is to just go and break it. It's time for some bass smashing action. I cleaned up in here. I got everything on this side of the boat that is upcoming. Here's some hinges and stuff. I'm gonna play around with the door on the front part. These are the screws we're gonna use to screw the deck down. Now again, these are drywall screws. Not something that you should use in an outdoor application, but like I said, proof of concept boat. If I was to do this again, we'd be getting stainless for everything. I'd be putting rubber washers between anywhere where the stainless and the, the aluminum was touching and you know, it'd be, a, it'd be a whole different ball game. But this is stuff for the trailer, you know, rust preventative crap and priming. And here's a bunch of new bolts I got for the, the not the hitch, the, the tongue part, There's you know, the front part. I don't know what all this crap's called yet. I was ripping this all apart the other day and sending pictures to my dad. I was like, I'm breaking everything. And he said, do you even have a job anymore? And I was like, yeah, I have a job, I have a job. But I figure that the best way that I can learn to do all this stuff is to just go and break it and then be forced to fix it. So anyway, it's nice and clean over here. Then on the other side of the boat, we got wood scraps for spacers, leftover two by fours, the carpet glue. So what we ended up doing here is completely changing how we attach stuff to the front of the boat. What we had done previously was we had this bracket up front here. We had a little spacer in the bottom part and we ran a two by four from the back all the way up to the front here, but it sat on top. Right now, this is just a block that's sitting in here so that it's flush with this piece. We dropped this down one and a half inches and we lowered those supports one and a half inches. And the reason we did that is because now we can run these two by fours that span the width of the boat and they're actually flush with that piece of aluminum. So from there, to there, to there, to there, to there. We have about eight and a half inches, and I wouldn't go any bigger than that, where the plywood is sitting. Instead of, because what happened was I put that, I put that big sheet of plywood on here, and it was run from here to here. There, we had these supports going, going up to the, the front there. And so when I would step here in the middle, that thing bowed like crazy, and it was creaking. I can't believe it didn't break. So now we've cut all those distances in half, and then these guys are just wood glued on here. These guys are just little, you know, scraps essentially. But if you look down, you can see that everything's level. And those are just to kind of reduce the area that can bow slightly. So now instead of it being able to bow from here to here, all the way to there, like this is our weakest spot in this hole. And as long as I'm, you know, that's about where my foot fits. As long as I don't jump up here and ram my foot, pretty much right here would be the worst spot. As long as I don't do that, we should be fine. The other thing is that uh, we put these guys up here, like I said. This is just another block so that this whole thing is flush and level. We can screw into this when we screw the deck down. This is what the deck ended up looking like. I used a staple gun. Here's how we did the corners. I think I took some pictures of this the other night. It's not the prettiest thing but it looks really nice on top and that's what's most important it's nice and level on the top we used a bunch of that glue we used I want to say 3 8 inch no 5 8 inch staples to go through this stuff and it was really really difficult to work with it looks good now so the next thing is we got to do the floor panels like I said we got to do some sort of cover for the storage area up front I want to leave that nice and open so I can get a net, all kinds of crap under there. I got to figure out what I'm going to do for a seat. I literally am probably going to have like a milk crate or something for starters because I need to get the motor on here and just take it out and see if it floats. The only other thing that I was thinking about doing was running some quarter inch panels down the sides with carpet on them to just give it more of a finished look. We'll see. I think what we'll do first is we'll get the deck on, we'll do the floor panels in the seat, we'll put the motor on it, we'll take it out in the water see how it acts and then if I can put a bunch more weight in it then you know if the two if the two uh, side panels sink it then <laughs> then we had a problem to begin with so so there she is yeah it's cool it's been a really fun project this is a lot of fun but it, now it's to the point where it's June and I'm like you know come on let's uh let's let's get it done so I can take it out and do some fishing in the darn thing so back to work see you guys soon thanks